Uh, welcome back. Um, so we figured out the first page of the application, so I'm going to go and figure out how we're going to do navigation. Um, I've done this before, so it's going to be a little bit of cheating. So React Navigation. All right, cool. So once you Google React Navigation, pretty much the first library that pops up uh, is this guy. And actually, this link, it looks like uh, it's part of React Native's own documentation that's saying that uh, you will probably want to use React Navigation, which will probably bring us to, what is the React Navigation? Okay, so this is like the library that we're going to use. I wonder if it's the same as the first Google search, um, if they are the same library. So this is the library React Navigation that I have used before. It's pretty good, pretty robust. You can pretty much do whatever you want in it. Um, so let's go and try it. Um, mm -mm -mm. All right, cool. So um, that didn't bring us where I wanted us to be. Um, let's go to the docs because the docs shows you how to install it. All right, getting start and getting started. All right, cool. It has npm install React Navigation slash native. Uh, we are using Yarn for our application, so this is going to be just changed to Yarn add. Um, I wonder if React's their own documentations. Yeah, their own documentations actually are um, suggesting this library, which is good. All right, cool. So copy, and then we're going to come over here and paste it. So this is going to add React Navigation slash native. And I'm guessing it's, good. it's just going to add a whole bunch of other stuff to um, installation. So you first install this, and it says installing dependency into a bare React Native project. So it looks like there's some extra stuff that we need to install as well. So let's just add that. Um, and then after you are done, uh, we are using React Native above 0.6, so linking is automatic, so you don't have to run this command. Um, npm npx pod install iOS. I'm guessing I have to run this. All right, cool. Let's run it and then go back here. Let's see what else it asks me to do. React Native Screens package requires additional configuration step to properly work on Android devices. So um, we're on iOS, so you're gonna have to worry about that. Um, mm -mm -mm. All right, cool. So let's go to Hello React Navigation, and we need to install this native stack, which I'm, I believe we have not installed. All right, let's wait for pods to install everything else. And once it does, we can continue. Come on. All right, there we go, nice. All right, so, oh, looks like Xcode is complaining. Failed to save, blah, 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 read from this. Um, that's because I have X, Xcode open and the commands that I just ran changed part of the project. So Xcode complained that someone came and changed these files, which was me, so I know it was me. So I'm with it. All right, so we installed um, slash native, react native screens and safe area context which I believe this stack we did not install. So that's good, I get to install it. Um, and uh, we have creating a native stack navigator. Um, all right, yeah, oh, so this is pretty much their um, sample for um, setting up navigation. So what I'm gonna do is come here, let's make this full screen. Um, and what I'm going to do is pretty much create a navigation or, huh, yeah, let's just make, make a, make a uh, page and call it main, um, typescript, let's make a typescript.jsx file, main page. I usually like to name my main page as main page instead of app. Um, it's purely preference. Um, you can do whatever you like. And Let's rename this to main page. Oh, WebStorm didn't complete. Um, all right, export main page. Uh, I guess I can just put it in parentheses. Main page, all right, cool. And if we go to index.js, I'm just gonna put this here, main page, all right, cool. And also the app page that we had before. Oh, by the way, remember to remove this .js part. Um, otherwise, TypeScript um, complains, or I guess it's Webpack that they, that this project is set up with. All right, cool. So let's go to app, um, and I'm gonna just uh, rename this to um, what I'm gonna rename, rename it to home page. 
Yeah, that makes sense. And it asked us if we wanted to rename the entire file to home page as well, and I did. Um, I, I did want that. So that's good. So we are in main page now. Um, and if we take a look at the application, we can see that it's blank. Uh, and that is because we just installed a whole bunch of new libraries and uh, it probably requires us to rerun the build on Xcode, which is pretty much what I'm going to do. Build only device cannot be used to blah, blah, blah. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah. So let's just change this to Arshan's iPhone run. So this should probably exit the app right now. And it will also probably take a while. So I'm going to. I'm going to end up hanging up and recording again. So sorry for that. I'm going to be gone in a bit. Let's just let's just wait until this like I, I'm just waiting to see if this is going to exit this application. Well, it probably will. All right, so I'm going to stop recording and I'll start recording right after this has completed.